Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy, King Sanders here. We are back with another day of sports betting. This is going to be for Saturday, April 15th, slate of playoff basketball, man. I'm super excited to dive into it. Um, I did just want to go ahead and address just a couple things here. Um, this video will be a little bit longer. I'm going to be talking about the last couple weeks and kind of everything that has been going on. So I will have timestamps down below. So make sure you guys, if you guys don't want to hear me ramble on about basically a bunch of nothing make sure you guys do go ahead and skip forward but before we go ahead and dive into it i did just want to go ahead and say that we are still currently on the road to 13,000 subscribers so if you guys are new make sure that you guys do go ahead and like comment subscribe turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever i post next i did just want to go ahead and give a quick shout out here to all of our members here on the channel thank you guys so much for everything that you guys do and thank you guys so much for giving such a small channel such a big chance as i always say it truly does mean the absolute world to me so so much more than you guys will ever know so without any further ado let's go ahead and dive straight straight into it obviously if you guys are true fans of the channel here you guys have known that i have not posted in about two weeks um with that being said i just wanted to go ahead and say that i have been sick um i unfortunately did end up catching the rona i unfortunately did end up catching the virus and it hit me pretty bad it definitely affected me and it affected me in a pretty great manner um it started about two weeks ago on saturday and on that Saturday, I wasn't feeling the greatest, but I didn't know that that was what it was at the time. Sunday, I woke up and I was even more abysmal. Um, so since I was even worse, I decided to go get tested and I ended up coming back positive. Monday and Tuesday, there was kind of regression, a little bit of a regression. It started to get a little bit better. And um, Wednesday, I was feeling really good. Then I woke up Thursday boom right back at it it was the one of the it was the worst day out of all of them um i had a crazy high fever i was really just feeling terrible there was just no way i was going to be able to record and do all that stuff i stayed in my bed for like three or four days in a row didn't look at my phone other than to put community posts out that was the only time i ever ended up getting on my phone other than that i did absolutely nothing for about a, a week um and then i haven't really done anything for the past like five or six days either i've really just been trying to um you know basically get my body back into things make sure that i was feeling okay before i went ahead and decided to dive back into it so seriously you guys i know that a lot of people did end up taking this um very seriously they reached out to me and they showed a lot of love and they showed you know make sure that i was well rested make sure that i was good to go so seriously you guys thank you for everybody that did end up doing that but also, a lot of people didn't did kind of make it a, as a joke. So the people that ended up actually meaning it and actually, you know, saying like, you know, I hope that you're healthy, stuff like that. Seriously, you guys did stand out to me. So you guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. Um, and, you know, we're back. We're completely back. So we are going to be finishing out this season. Um, we have playoff basketball here. We have a lot of games going on. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. So for a quick recap, as of yesterday, I will admit that one of the games is still currently going on. So since one of the games is going on, I'm not sure how it's going to finish up. I'm chalking it up as a loss as of right now, and we'll go ahead and talk it, talk about it as of right now. So worst comes to worst, we end up we end up 0-2. Um, best case scenario, we end up going 1-1. One one. So let's talk about it. We had Bam out of bio under 9.5 rebounds. Honestly, I thought that this was a really good play. Um, I can't lie to you guys. He has really struggled versus Chicago under in seven out of his last eight matchups, but he absolutely destroyed it. Um, there were so many missed shots in this game that he was bound to get 10 rebounds. Um, I guess, you know, I should have just looked and been like, oh, he hasn't hit this in three straight. It's pro He's probably due for a good game, but unfortunately, it was just a bad read by me. Um, Vucevic didn't really do much. He disappeared for most of that game, so um, Bam Adebayo really just took over. Um, and then we didn't have Having our assist same game parlay, we had Jalen Williams of the OKC Thunder to get two two assists. The center, currently as of right now, he's got zero, and it's the third quarter, so I'm I'm, I'm not thinking he's going to be ended up, ended up getting any. Um, but he has zero as of right now. Could he end up cashing that? Sure. And then we had Anthony Edwards four plus. He has six right now, and it's like I said, it's in the third. So that one ended up hitting really easily. But I don't think Jalen Williams is going to get there. So without any further ado, though, let's go ahead and dive into today's plays. I do have three plays. I'm looking to add a fourth one in the one game that we don't have, which is the um, the Cavs and the um, Knicks, excuse me. So between those two teams, I'm looking to add a play. So if you guys have any insight on those, make sure you guys do go ahead and drop your, drop your plays down below because... I really want to. <laughs> I really want to be able to add a play for that game, but I wasn't sure how to read it exactly. So, if you guys have any insight, feel free to let me know. 
So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into our first official play of the day. We are taking Malcolm Brogdon over 17 and a half points plus assist here versus the Atlanta Hawks at minus 110. This game does tip off at 2.30 Central Standard Time, 3.30 Eastern. I love this spot here for Malcolm Brogdon. Obviously, Malcolm Brogdon is going to be the backup guard following the Marcus Smart starting rotation. But I love the spot here. Brogdon has gone over in four straight games. And last game versus the Atlanta Hawks, everybody on the uh, Boston Celtics was completely healthy. It was a very normal rotation. And he still had 23 points plus assists. I think that we see a similar situation here. I think he's going to get plenty of time. And let's be honest, this is a really big mismatch, especially for a guy like Malcolm Brogdon, who's a little bit big of a bigger guard, um, going up against a guy like Trey Young. Obviously, I don't know how the rotations are going to work. I'm not sure how the defensive matchups are going to work. But if everything does stay to par Brogdon is going to be guarded by a guy like Trey Young that should be absolutely an absolute tremendous tremendous spot to be able to score the ball and we also do have to consider that I mean as much as I hate to say it I know that this is the first round of the playoffs and we want every game to be close but this spread's nine, and this spread, I think, is nine for a reason. I could very easily see the Hawks getting blown out in game one um, following the game versus the Miami Heat. Now, obviously, they could keep it close. There's no doubt about it, but we do have to consider the possibility. And if it is a blowout, there, there's a good chance that they say, hey, Marcus Smart, take it easy. We need you again next game. Throw out a guy like Brogdon. But either way, no matter what, I still love the play here. He's going to be guard like a guy, guarded by a guy like Trey Young, a huge mismatch, and I think that he does score. I think he could easily get to 18 points by himself, let alone the assist department. So I really love the spot here. So that is going to be our first official play of the day. Malcolm Brogdon over 17.5 points plus assist here versus Atlanta at minus 110 odds. Now, for our second official play of the day, we're taking DeMontis Sabonis over 33.5 points plus rebounds here versus the Golden State Warriors at minus 120 odds. Now, Sabonis has been really good to this line. He's been finishing right around to it, so this line is extremely extremely sharp but i think i'm going to lean the over on this one he's finished with 48 33 and 33 points plus rebounds in his last three games here versus the golden state warriors but i think that he can get to 34 here now hear me out golden state warriors are one of the best matchups especially for a center that you could ask for this is this is a tremendous spot here for him the, the golden state warriors allow the eighth most points per game to opposing centers and the 11th most rebounds per game so both these both of these two stats are in the the upper echelon when it does come to um, you know points and rebounds per game so I do love that about it and let's be honest Golden State is going to be on the road if you guys have been living under a rock Golden State is one of the worst road teams when it comes to defense when it comes to just stats in general when it comes to record they're a very bad road team now could that change in the playoffs of course but I don't think that's going to be changing here to the center position. Golden State Warriors allow the second most points per game to opposing teams on the road. So if you're wondering just how bad are they on the road, they give up the second most points in all of basketball. And not to mention, this game is going to be flying up and down. You talk about the fast-paced game, this game is going to be so incredibly fast-paced. Golden State Warriors are the fastest-paced team in all of basketball going up against a Sacramento team that is also extremely fast-paced. There should be plenty of shots plenty of misses and a lot of these should be going to a guy like DeMontis Sabonis he's going to be matched up more than likely on a guy like Kevon Looney and if that's the case he's going to be spending a lot of time around the rim soaking in a lot of those extra rebounds so I love the spot here overall I truly do and Golden State Warriors also do allow the ninth most rebounds per game to opposing teams just in general they do not they're not a very great rebounding team so that could lead to some extra rebounds for a guy like Sabonis as well so I really love the spot here for our second official play of the day DeMontis Sabonis bonus over 33 and a half points plus rebounds versus golden state at minus 120 odds now for our third and final play of the day we're taking nicholas claxton under 23 and a half pras here versus the philadelphia 76ers at minus 115 odds now nicholas claxton i know he's going to be playing a lot of minutes and could he very easily hit this over of course but i think that this is going this is a very sharp line and i think that it's very sharp for a reason we're leaning the under on this one Claxton has feasted the, to finish the season. He hit, hit the over in three straight games, or two straight games, excuse me, but it was against Orlando and Detroit. I think that it's going to be a very different style of play here. He's going up against Joel Embiid. He's not going up against, um, you know, James Wiseman. So I think that this is a spot that Nicholas Claxton does struggle just a little bit. In his career versus the Philadelphia 76ers, which in the time that he has been drafted, they've had... Um, 
Joel Embiid that whole time. He's only gone over in one game in his career versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, I love the spot here because the 76ers do allow the fourth fewest points per game to opposing centers this season and the fifth fewest rebounds per game. So, they don't give up a lot of points. They don't give up a lot of rebounds. And not to mention... The Philadelphia 76ers are one of the slowest paced teams in all of basketball. This is going to be a very slow paced game. It is only a 214 and a half over under. Should be a very slow paced game. And I think a lot of these points are going to be coming from guys like Mikael Bridges and even some of the shooters. I feel like there's a good chance for a lot of the shooters to get hot in this one like Cam Johnson and even Spencer Dimwitty. But I just don't see Nicholas Claxton scoring a whole lot on a guy like Joel Embiid. Claxton also does average more points, rebounds, and assists at home, which they are not in this situation. They are going to be traveling to Philadelphia to take on the 76ers in this one, and Claxton is just not a very great road uh, road player just in general. He's a much better home, te- home player, and I think that that is going to take effect in it as well. I, I could genuinely see the, um, the Nets end up losing this one pretty big, unfortunately. I think that they do make a pushback in, in games two, but game one, I'm just a little bit worried about. So that is going to be our third and final play of the day. Nicholas Claxton under 23.5 PRAs here versus Philadelphia at minus 115 odds. Now, as I had mentioned, I am still looking for a play in the New York Knicks and the um, Cleveland Cavaliers game. So if you guys are interested in that and you guys have any plays that you guys suggest from that game, please, please comment them down below because I want to see where everybody's head's at before I just force a play. So I really do love the spots here, though. Um, Feel free to let me know down below. So thank you guys, everyone that did check up on me. Thank you guys for still showing me love and support. Um, It truly does mean a lot. Um, And so hopefully that doesn't end up happening anymore and we can stay right back on track and we can really keep things rolling. So that is going to do it for me. This King Center signing out. Peace.